Shit is getting serious. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Get right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, then dismiss them. Bad. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again, man. And we are back at it like a motherfucking crack addict, man. Today with a very special video. Now, guys, I wanted to drop something totally different, really unedited, uncut, and raw on a various uh, on a topic that goes into all sorts of other topics. A very open discussion, like video, because shit is getting serious. We are on an all-out war with Boost and Nike Air. Now, I use these Jordans because Nike Air and Jordan is the same thing, and this is basically a Nike and a Jordan, you know what I'm saying? And this is getting serious and serious and serious, and I really wanted to open up a discussion for you guys to hear what you guys got to say in the comment section while also speaking from my end on things as well. Um, basically, though, guys, we're, we're just really at a very, it's, a, it's something crazy happening in the sneaker like community, you know? We're at a... At a place where like there's a torch being passed where Adidas is starting to run off and you know and 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 Nike's just standing still now But right when we stop before you know a lot of you guys out there is just like what do you like? What, what the hell no Adidas will never be better than Jordan or Nike But I gotta ask this because in the comment section that I see every day which I read all my comments we got people saying, man, fuck those Jordans. They re they only releasing the same colorways and it's charging people $200. It's the same shit every fucking time. Same shit, same shit, nothing new. Same Air Maxes, just different colorways and the price is going up. And on the other hand, we have the Adidas. This shit is lame. Boost, they're putting boost on everything. You know, all this gay ass, skinny type, different style type shit is lame and all that. So I got both of these people yelling in my ears left and right. And I just don't understand where where we're where we're going. It's like going back behind all that. Like before we get into all that, like with me, I feel like it has a lot to do with the new generation and the old and new generation. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is the old, this is the new. I sort, you know what I'm saying? Um, me and Christian was talking about this day the other day. You know, Air's been around for 30 plus years now. You know what I'm saying? 30 years, where Boost is something new. Air's been around for 30 years, but you see the catalog of air from over the 30 years of the tons of different styles whereas boost it just recently came in and they're they're working with it i mean nmds are going like crazy new M nmds every fucking day on colors but really adidas only has like eight styles that's like g going on the boost and they're, they're going to do more i guess down the road but you know at the same time it's really not much to choose from you got yeezys you got ultra boost you got pure boost you got nmds and then you got a couple basketball shoes here and there too that feature it. Where with Nike, the air it just goes on and on and on and on and it never stops. But like I said, let me. I'm still just going too far. I wanted to backtrack. You know, coming into the sneaker community and doing the doing the sneaker like starting doing sneakers, I found that a lot of the older OGs, you know, really didn't put a hand out to the newer generation. Like I just never felt like that. Now I'm not saying all. Just saying some, not saying all, just some, or m majority, majority. There's some people that did, but I did not never felt like there were OGs reaching out to the young community. And for that reason, the, the young community never really gravitated toward the old generation things. They, you know, our gen, like, and I'm in the middle of it, old and new. I mean, I'm 25, I'm kind of still, I'm, I'm really kind of in the new, you know what I'm saying? But I love my classics, but like, I feel like the new generations don't really give a fuck about what you did. They care about what's going on now. And right now is what Adidas is popping. And that's why those are the people that are saying like, fuck, you know, they hate Nike. Nike's just staying the same. They're just dropping the same colorways over and over. And they're not doing nothing new where Adidas is on the rise. And there's some, even some OGs that may, maybe are on the, on the more boost side and the more futuristic side, you know what I'm saying? Or may, maybe somebody's in the middle, but I noticed that by the OGs being that way, I feel like that's kind of like what has happened over the years. And, you know, at the same time, people that have been doing sneaker collecting for a long time, they expect to like, I know it's like a lot of OG people want like respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, get, I, I, I uh, cast it or I path, made the path for you younger cats to get in and do all this. Like, they did their state, they, they feel like obligated or, or like they, they, they put this up on a pedestal and respect to them. But young people don't give a fuck about that. Young people don't care about, 15 year olds are not like all intrigued about what Jordan did. They care about what Westbrook and LeBron did. Like they're not looking at that. You know what I'm saying? So like all that stuff is starting not to matter no more. 
and now the older people are saying like these young cats, they hype beats, they they don't show no respect to the sneaker community. But at one point, those older cats weren't not trying to pull those new, the newer generation like into like you know getting them the love. Like the newer generation found love on their own, and that was through. Kanye or this whole Adidas, you know, the, the first it was a Yeezy from Nike, then it was the Adidas with Kanye, and now you got collabs with Ronnie Fye and and Alexander Wang, and it just goes on and on. So it's like really a big war is going on right now. It goes down in my comment section every single day, and that's why I wanted to drop this video and kind of hear what you guys got to say about that. You know, Nike just unrolled the Vapor Max, which is like a new asset to the Air collection, and. I mean, air is still air at the end of the day. Like, I mean, it's the same air. They just do it differently, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, me and Christian was also saying how, you know, if Nike did air and they still survive for 30 years, what is what is Deezus going to do with Boost? Is it going to survive for another 30 years? And on the other hand, I kind of told him, I don't know if it would stay around that long because I feel like with this generation, the newer people, we get bored easy. We get bored easy. You can't just keep throwing the same releases. Like, this was released in 2013. They re-released it this year. Like, you can't keep doing that. It's not going to work. So, you're going to have to put this away. It's got to be gone for a minute. You know, with the with the Adidas, we're already starting to feel tired of NMDs. It's like, Adidas got to make another model now. They got Shadow Nits or Tubulars. They, 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 you know, remember Tubulars? The first Tubulars? Like, those were popping. Now, those are dead now. Nobody buys them. And then you have the NMDs. They're starting to, like, run out because, you know, if they're not priming it, nobody gives a fuck. Then, you remember the Tubular Dooms? I got them up there. You probably can still see them right there. Those are gone. Like, I don't even, like, I haven't worn those in a minute. Nobody wears that. Tubular Dooms were hype. And it fell off Ultra Boost. They're starting to do the same. When the Ultra Boost first dropped that black pair, when Kanye wore it, it blew up. Now it's just like Ultra Boost. It's because constantly Ultra Boost. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you had the, remember the, remember the uh, Uncaged Ultra Boost? Those were hyped to fuck up as well. And I was like, those are dying out. It's like, you got to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And Adidas is like moving way faster than when Nike was doing. Because I feel like Nike, they were dropping a lot of stuff. But they, uh, Nike's been surviving, uh, is surviving off stuff they did years ago. They're surviving off Royals. They're surviving off Bread Ones. They're surviving off 97 Air Max Bullets, uh, Silver Bullets. They're surviving off of everything that like came out in the past. They're just they they're just redoing it, surviving. But I do see the war and I see the hate that's going on with the battles. It's a battle going on, like whether you believe it or not. And I see it in the comment section every day. There's no way to win. There's no way to win with the comments, and I, it's not. I don't, I'm not taking it like that way. I know there's always gonna be one person saying one thing, one person saying the other thing. But I want to hear both sides. Them explain that situation down in the comment section. So if you're the if you're the air person, you're saying that you hate, you know, boost and boost is just on everything and it's tiring. You're sick of these hype bees. And, and, and like I, I made a tweet about it. People hate people that like Yeezys. Like they'll be like. You're fucking, I can't understand how you wear those ugly ass fucking shoes, man. You're a fucking hype beast. Like that, that's how people feel. And it's like, it, 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 when you're, how are you guys feeling? Because at the same time, when I look at you, you're just releasing the same sneaker over and over and over and over in different materials. And I mean, different colorways, basically. But the same fucking shoe. So it's not the same, you know what I'm saying? But then on this hand, you got this person right here who is, you know, I'm tired of Jordans. They're just releasing this, like they're saying, they, they release the same shoe and everything over. It's nothing new about it. It's nothing innovative, nothing like that. And then they're just blah, blah, blah. But when, but all of a sudden, these people are here that talk. I like these people, though, because they because they kind of contradict themselves. They talk and talk and talk and talk about everything. But then when Cause Fours come out, they're like, oh, what's going on? How you doing? Let's make out. You know what I'm saying? They want to have sex. That's what the new generation is about. So it's really built up off of hype at the end of the day. So these people, they can talk all their little talk that they want about how air is old and everything, but you're just a hype beast. That's all you really are at the end of the day. And that's okay, I, I fall in that line too sometimes. The only reason why you're talking like this though is because everything you get is really like, you know, sold out. It's not that many, if it, if it ain't sold out, you're not fucking with it. That's why you hate Jordan now because everything Jordan drops sits on shelves. So you're not fucking with that. You're not fucking with that guy, aren't you? All right, so this guy here, you're just tired of the new generation. You want to stay old, but at the same time, it's a war going on. It's just a fucking war going on in the streets. And I don't know what's going on. That's all I'm saying. I, I remember when I was at SneakerCon in um, Phoenix, I was on the panel with uh, Blake, Blake Lender, uh, Just Win, and uh, Swagger Diddy. And they were talking about the summer spring collection. And, excuse me, Blake and, um, and Just Win just were not feeling that summer collection at all. And they were just talking about how they they really only just like Adidas. That's it. And I was like, goodness. Like I was like, uh, that's when I made me think about it. Like, yo, 
something is really going on here. Like people are not really fucking with like, you know, the, the Jordan wave anymore. Or the just the Nike wave. And I, I know I talk mainly about Nikes, I mean about Jordans, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing, you know? It's not that many jo uh, Nikes that are getting the hype. I mean, you got the Prestos and the Flyknit Prestos or like some uh, Air Maxes that are selling out or whatever, but they're all the same. So it's like the same thing. That's why I'm putting the Nike and Jordan together with this Boost thing. So it's like Air versus Boost. It's, it, it's a war going on, you know? And I understand when you look at it um, from your point of view that when you're looking at him, you're like, it's the same thing, it's getting old, but Boost is too. I mean, how many more models are you gonna throw it on the NMD and everything else? I mean, everything is getting thrown on Boost. Where is it gonna end? I would love to hear what you guys got to say down below in the comment section on this. I just been seeing this over and over and over. Like, just people, you know, I got my Adidas people telling me this. I got my Nike people telling me that. And I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I've been Nike for a minute. Like, I've been copying Jordans on this channel for a long time. Adidas has been popping up now. And I'm getting my little hype in. My little younger side of me is hyping on and hyping in. But how could, like, somebody leave down a comment below that is can be a solid comment because I feel like either one of these people are hypocritical or hypocrites you know what I'm saying me personally I just don't give a fuck where would you like at the end of the day and that's all I gotta really say where would you like at the end of the day I cop what I like if it's been released already I might cop it again if it's hype I might go cop it I really don't care but I would love to hear to these people that love the the clap and know what they got to say you know what I'm saying if you're if you're if you're boost let us know down below why you are straying away from the Nike what's turning you off about it you know what I'm saying and just let me know if you're if you're the air guy and you're just tired of this boost and this hype let me know why is there what, what's the problem with the hype behind it you know what I'm saying like like I like I said before like these people that if you would if you're a young cat and there was an old, an older cat that was having a sick ass collection like i mean even nowadays like older people they want their they want their shine they don't want to and i'm not trying to take shots but i'm just being honest like old ceo heads you know when people get money and people get fame so they don't want to share that shit they don't want to let that stuff you know they they want to keep everything to themselves you know what i'm saying and that's fine you know what i'm saying if you earned it that's fine these people went a whole different route. They said, you know what, we're not going to just follow this route and be up there trying to get up there. We're going to go our own ways. They went their own ways, and now these people are, like, mad. You know, talking. they're talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking. They talk down to the younger generation. Now, this is not all the older heads out there. It's just, it's, it's, it's just some newer. It's just a few. You know, it's, it's a here and there. And then these people talk shit about how these people are so lame, but... They, they it, it, it ain't really all much about uh, brand. It's more about the hype, and that's what it is. They, they're fucking with this because it's a hype behind it. Hype. Sooner or later, it'll be evened out. I know. That, I feel like there's more hype behind this than this. This drops tomorrow or today, most likely when you see this video. And then these all white joints are coming out at the end of the month, and they're they're battling all white, triple white, and they're, they're battling. They're battling. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Not really going to drop anything else today. I just really wanted to get this out because it's just been kind of like on my mind. I've been seeing the comments of you guys going in, and I want to hear what you guys got to say. I want some paragraphs down below. Fight. Let's go. The war has begun. Comment down below. I'll see you in the battlefield. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out.